Welcome to projection mapping on an iPad with Dynamapper. One thing to know, if you don't have an iPad, you can still do this course because the app is available on Android and it's all the same functionality. Okay, let's start by opening up the app. So once I open the app, I get faced with three options. My first one is create a new sequence. My second one is save scenes. And my third one is contents pack. Let's just have a quick look at this. So contents pack, once you first buy the app, you get a content pack for free and you can choose which one and then subsequently you can then buy them but the app comes with two content packs anyway so you get three content packs plus your own content so having a look at the app you can just scroll down you can click on one of uh, the options and it shows you what you get within the app i personally haven't bought any apps but for those that um, are really interested in doing christmas type events it's got a christmas pack and it's 2.99 so you know, it's not expensive and it's not going to break the bank. Okay, so let's just have a quick look down here. So there's lots lots to offer. As you can see, the three ticks are the three packs that I have. So the starter music pack and the starter home pack you get just by buying the app. And the starter retail pack is the one that I chose because I was doing some projection mapping in a shop at this point and I wanted to try the app out. Again, with projection mapping, where you're really going to fly is when you start using your own content. Great, so that's the contents pack session. Let's have a look at saved scenes. So when I click this, you'll notice I don't have any saved scenes because I haven't used the app yet and I will use it for the purposes of this demonstration. So I deleted all my saved scenes. Here is where they all live. Okay, so that's an overview once you open the app. In the next session, We'll dive straight in and we'll start learning projection mapping.